Somewhere in the fire-scored darkness of space, a being that was neither matter nor energy slipped through space-time like a whisper, a breath, a rustle of a curtain in the night. The being called itself by a name that, if spoken aloud, would have sounded something like Diab. Diab moved with ease through the many dimensions of space. Time was a clay to be molded by its thoughts. It had slipped into this universe out of deep time, across a boundary few could even detect, the membrane dividing one universe from the next. Wandering through the star spiral it now took for home, Diab listened to slow mutterings in space-time that seemed to come from very large bodies. Much that Diab heard it did not understand but it was astonished when it finally realized that the stars were the great bodies that were speaking, that they were alive with thought and awareness. Diab had never heard a star speak before. Marveling, Diab approached one sun at the edge of a cloud. Understanding came with difficulty, but Diab could feel the star's thought. The star seemed glad of its presence, and Diab lingered seeking deeper contact. In time, it began to understand the star's feelings, and what it felt was disturbing. Diab felt pain and fear, and a certainty that this sun was dying, but not of natural causes. Diab called the sun Brave Light and wished it could help, but how? There was an inimical force here, unseen, bringing death where there should only be life. Brave light swelled and reddened. Diab drew away until the shocking moment when its friend flared with sudden blinding intensity, exploding with a death convulsion that sent Diab tumbling away. After the death of Brave light, Diab wandered again, numb with grief and fear. It heard other murmurings and troubling rumors of other stars dying young and in pain. What could Diab do? Had it fled the demise of a universe that was simply dying of old age, only to find a worse place where death was even crueler and more capricious? In time, it came to another star cloud, a place where suns were being born one after another. Compelled by the memory of brave light, Diab felt drawn to the cloud. But when it felt death lurking here too, Diab withdrew. But Diab did not leave that region of space. Instead, it stayed nearby, waiting, hoping that understanding might come and a course of action be made clear. Diab pondered and prayed.